In this video I'm going to show you how to record expenses. Obviously expenses are recorded in the supplier module when we post invoices but there are other expenses that occur in business that don't go through a credit supplier. So all the suppliers on the supplier module should be suppliers that we have credit accounts with. People who send us invoices and we have payment terms with them and we need to keep track of what they have invoiced us and what we need to pay them or what we have paid them. Other expenses don't necessarily need to be tracked as much. Things like bank charges, bank interest, expenses that the business incurs that generally aren't invoiced and are not on credit terms. For example, if you went to go and fill up your business car with some fuel, you wouldn't add BP or Shell or Sainsbury's fuel or whatever it was on the supplier account. You just wouldn't do that. You would just post the expense straight from the account or in cash, wherever it was, wherever the expense came from. So to record these type of expenses, all you need to do is go to transactions. This is the transactions module. Go down to expenses. We will then have our expenses list appear and you'll see we have two expenses recorded already from our supplier invoices that we posted earlier. Now let's post some expenses to our account. Simply go to the top here, click the drop down list and click expense. You'll then have once again like this invoice template appear and we just fill it out. At the top here we have our bank current account that's generally set by default. If you've entered bank current account as a cash in bank and in hand account as I did in the previous video. But if you click the drop down list here you can add new accounts or you can go to the chart of accounts and add new accounts. You may want to add a petty cash account for example or a savings bank account or a business credit card account. Put in the payment date. Let's put in the today's date, the 31st. Payment method, we have card, cash, check or direct debit. So let's say this was put on card and let's put in fuel. You'll notice that fuel does not appear. If I type in motor expenses, that doesn't appear either. So obviously there isn't an account on QuickBooks for me to allocate this payment to. So let's make a new account using this option instead of going through the chart of accounts for motor expenses. So I'm going to just, so I'm going to click add. I can then choose the category type and this is the same box as appeared in the previous video when going through the chart of accounts. And let's find an appropriate subcategory for this expense. Let's just have a look through. We have auto, that's probably the best subcategory or detail type. And let's put in fuel. Description, we can put in company, car, fuel. Click save and close. We then have an account we can book fuel payments to. So let's just put in Shell Diesel and say it was £45.09. Once we're ready to save this expense to QuickBooks, we'll just click the save and close. But let's add some more in. Let's record our Google AdWords payment. In the description, we can just put July 
AdWords and say that was 150 pounds. Once we're ready, we can click save and close. If we want to add more expenses, we can just go ahead. We have a running total at the top here. If you need more lines, click add lines. But let's just save and close this for now. And those expenses will be recorded onto QuickBooks. If we go to the chart of accounts, we should see these expenses recorded. You'll notice in our bank current account, we have minus 19509 because we've just recorded the expenses from the bank current account. If at any time we need to edit or delete the expenses that we have recorded, simply go to account history. find the transaction so here it is 19509 click on it click edit you'll then be taken back to this invoice sort of template screen you can make the adjustments click save and close if you need to delete it just click delete thank you for watching